In this video, we'll compare the health, temperament, and size of the husky versus the wolf. First, let's talk about a husky-wolf hybrid. Huskies and wolves can interbreed, and although this is very unlikely to happen naturally in the wild, we humans love to intervene and test things out. Husky-wolf hybrids do exist, and many people are trying their luck at turning them into a domestic pet. Huskies are completely safe towards humans, but a husky-wolf hybrid is different. The natural survival instincts to hunt and kill is deeply rooted in wolves, and when it comes to anything instinctual, it's hard to train against it. People have had mixed results trying to make a nice family pet out of the wolf hybrid. You could never be totally sure that your husky wolf would not attack you or any other small pets. So keep this in mind if you consider breeding a husky with a wolf. Next, let's look at why huskies howl like wolves. Wolf howls in the wild because the sound travels much further through the air. The howl is primarily used to locate another wolf or pack and is often used by lost wolves to find their way back. We'll pause quickly to remind you to subscribe for more dog videos. When other wolves hear howling, they almost always howl back. Howling is an instinctual and oftentimes huskies do the same thing. Although huskies are domesticated pets that live in our homes, they still have the instincts to howl, oftentimes in retaliation to sirens, babies crying, or other dogs, and general noises that fire up that instinct to howl. Now let's compare and contrast the health of these two animals. Huskies are generally healthy, but like all breeds, they're prone to certain health conditions. Not all huskies will get any or all of these diseases, but it's important to be aware of when you consider this breed. The main health concern is eyes and hip dysplasia. A couple of things to consider if you are considering this dog. Now let's take a look at the wolves. In the wild, wolves probably do not get as sick because they are not as crowded in captivity. But in the wild, wolves probably get injured more because they have to kill to eat. Tamed wolves can be healed by feeding them any sort of meat other than fish. Rest and good food will help a wolf recover. So oftentimes when, it, when a wolf gets injured, it's very difficult for them to get better because they cannot hunt and kill their food. Next, we'll compare and contrast their temperament. The husky and the wolf are profoundly different in their temperament. One is a domesticated animal and the other one is wild. The domesticated husky has learned its boundaries over the years. It knows its owners, its family, kids, and other animals not to be as much of a threat as a wolf would. So a wolf is very skittish and ready to attack at any time. This makes their temperament very uneasy and very unsure. Whereas the husky Next, we'll compare the husky and the wolf with their markings and color. Despite both of them having double layered coats, the coloring of their coats can be fairly different. Huskies often have a more defined color differences in their coat, especially in their face markings, whereas wolves tend to display a more gray-brown blended coat that is suitable for the wild. The husky is known for their beauty, whereas the wolf is more known for its rugged, gray, brownish, blend in to the wild type of a look.
Next, we'll compare their overall size and appearance. The Husky and the Wolf look very similar. They both have thick fur, which keeps them protected from the elements. And under that fur, they both have an undercoat, which insulates their body heat. Another similarity is their appearance is that they seem to be about the same size. However, the wolf is actually much larger and it holds the title of the largest animal in the canine family. The husky measures 23 inches tall, whereas the gray wolf measures 26 to 32 inches tall. The husky has bright blue eyes, whereas the wolf has yellow eyes. Finally, we compare and contrast the history of the Husky and the Wolf. The Siberian Husky is a high energy but even tempered dog that has a long and ancient history. Many people often confuse them with the common wolf, but there are striking differences along with some similarities. First, let's look at the Husky. It is believed that the Siberian Husky was bred in Russia thousands of years ago, thought to have been bred from other canine animals likely to be wolves. The husky was engineered to pull light loads over vast expanses of land at fast speeds without tiring too easily. They were a working dog that could help in the harsh elements. As for the gray wolf, there are two types of wolves, the gray and the red. It is believed that there is up to 38 different species of wolves but the most common is the gray wolf, and it's the one that looks just like the husky. But as you've learned in this video, there are some similarities and some differences. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and it's given you a better understanding of the difference between a husky and a wolf. We look forward to the next video.